I am Anil Kumar sharing with you three excellent questions based on Componendo and Dividendo method. I like you to pause the video, copy these questions. They are all multiple choice. Answer and then look into my suggestions. The first one here is if x equals to 4a over a plus b then x plus 2a divided by x minus 2a plus x plus 2b divided by x minus 2b is equal to what? These are the four choices. You can make a note, answer and then look into my suggestions. Now the next question here is if square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x minus 2 divided by their difference is equal to a then a square minus ax is equal to what? Again four choices are given. You can solve and then look into my suggestions. And the next question here is, if x equals to square root of 3 over 2, now we are given the value of x, then evaluate the expression given. You need to find its value, match with one of these answers. So I hope you got solution of these. And now you can see how it could be solved, right? To begin with, let me give you what is the property of Componendo and Dividendo, which we are going to use in solving the three examples. If the ratio of A to B is equal to C over D, in that case, we could always write A plus B divided by A minus B is equal to C plus D divided by C minus D. So if the ratio A over B is C over D, then we could also prove that sum and difference of this side is equal to sum and difference quotient on the other side. Now this property is popularly known as Componendo and Dividendo. Proof for this, I'll provide a link. You can go through that also. Now let's see how to solve this question. Now this question has 1 plus x in what we need. So here b should be x for me, right? So instead of x equals to this, I will rewrite this expression as 1 over x equals to 2 over square root 3. Now we can apply the property of componendo and dividendo. So we could write this as 1 plus x over 1 minus x equals to 2 plus square root 3 over 2 minus square root 3. Now, we actually want square root, so we want to square the right side. So we could rationalize also. So let me write down this as 1 plus x over 1 minus x equals to 2 plus square root 3 over 2 minus square root 3. To rationalize, I'll multiply by 2 plus square root 3. That is, we will rationalize denominator. Correct? Now that gives you 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x equals 2. We get a perfect square, 2 plus square root 3 in the numerator. And denominator will be, this should be plus, right? We are multiplying, dividing by 2 plus square root 3. That will give you a difference of squares. That means 2 square minus square root 3 square or 4 minus 3. Okay. Now let's take it to the right side and further solve. So what we have here is 1 plus x over 1 minus x equals 2. 2 plus square root 3 whole square divided by 1 which is 4 minus 3. Taking square root, we'll get square root of 1 plus x divided by square root of 1 minus x equals to 2 plus square root 3 over 1. Now again, we can apply the property of Componendo and Dividendo. So here if we again apply this property of Componendo and Dividendo, then what is the result? We get the expression which we want on the left side, which is square root of 1 plus x 
plus square root of 1 minus x divided by their difference. And on the right side, we get 2 plus square root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 plus, I mean, uh, yeah, 2 plus square root 3 minus 1, their difference, right? So this could be written as 3 square root 3, 3 plus square root 3, right? Divided by 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get 1 plus square root 3. Now, in the numerator, I could take square root 3 common, so I'm left with square root 3 plus 1, right? divided by 1 plus square root 3 and now 1 plus square root 3 and square root 3 plus 1 cancel so you are left with only square root 3 so you know this expression is equal to square root 3 which is option C for you is that correct so that is how you're going to answer this question I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Let's move forward and look into the solution of the other two. So we are given if square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x minus 2 divide by their difference is a, then a square minus ax is equal to what? So let's apply the property of a component to and dividend to, to the given expression. Then we get sum of these two in the numerator. So I could write this as square root of x plus 2, I mean plus 2, plus square root of x minus 2, this is my numerator, and now I'll add the denominator, which is square root of x plus 2, minus square root of x minus 2. In the denominator, we'll take their difference. Correct? So that is the property of componendo and dividendo. On the right side, we get a plus 1 over a minus 1, because a could be written as a over 1, correct? Now the numerator, if you check, these two terms will cancel. We are left with 2 times square root of x plus 2 divided by 2 times square root of x minus 2, right? And that is equal to a plus 1 over a minus 1. Now, 2 and 2 cancel, and therefore, you have square root of x plus 2 over x square root of x minus 1 equals to a plus 1 over a minus 1. Now, we could square it, right? So, let me square both sides. Okay, let me write down here. Square both sides. So, in that case, what happens? In that case, the square root will vanish. So on the left side, we'll have x plus 2 over x minus 2. And on the right side, we get a plus 1 whole square divided by a minus 1 whole square. Let me expand numerator and denominator and rewrite. So we get a square plus 2a plus 1 over a square minus 2a plus 1. Correct? Now, to further solve it, we can actually again apply component to and dividend to, right? So, that is what we are going to do. So, we'll again apply component to and dividend to. This is for the second time. In many cases, you do need to apply it two times. So, in the numerator, now we get x plus 2 plus x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 minus x minus 2. And on the right side, you get a square plus 2a plus 1 plus a square minus 2a plus 1 divided by a square plus 2a plus 1 minus a square minus 2a plus 1, correct? So if you open this bracket now and solve both left and right side, x plus x, you get 2x. 2 minus 2 cancel and denominator you get 4 this is equal to we get 2a square minus 2a plus 2a cancel plus 2 
divided by we get 4a right 2a plus 2a the other two terms cancel now this equation let me take it to the right side and simplify we need to find what is a square minus ax right so the expression which we have here is 2x over 4 equals to let me factor out 2 we get a square plus 1 divided by 4 a so this 4 cancels with the other 4 right and 2 and 2 also cancel what we can do now here is just cross multiply so we get ax so you get a times x equals to a square plus 1 taking 1 to this side we get a square minus ax equals to minus 1 so option c is the right option do you see that part so we get our solution of the given question and the choice here is C. So I hope these steps are clear. Let's move on and see how to do the third question. So in this case you notice that we have to square to get our terms back, right? Now in this question we are given x equals to 4 a b over a plus b and then we have to find x plus 2a over x minus 2a plus x plus 2b over x minus 2b equals to what? So as you can realize that we're looking for two different component or dividendos, right? So one is this unit, which involves X and A. The other one involves X and B. Do you see that? So that means we'll actually work with two different sets and get one solution. Beginning from X equals to 4AB over a plus b right so since i need a here i will and we need 2a so i'll rewrite this expression as x over 2a equals to 2 times b over a plus b do you understand that part so i split it in the second case what i'm going to do is i'm going to rewrite this expression let me show you what i exactly did here we could write this as 2 times 2 times a times b. That is 4ab, right? a plus b. Since I want b, I will take 2b on this side. So I write x over 2 times b equals to 2a is left here. Clearly, do you see what I'm trying to do here, right? So I get 2a and 2b in the denominator. By applying componendo and dividendo, I can now get these two expressions separately. Perfect. So now, if I apply component, I get x plus 2a equals over x minus 2a equals 2b plus a plus b over 2b minus a minus b, right? So, so for x plus 2x minus 2a, I get 2b plus a plus b, which is 3b plus a. And the denominator is 2b minus b, which is b minus a. Do you see that? On the right side, I have x plus 2b over x minus 2b equals to 2a plus a a plus b divided by 2a minus a minus b which is equal to 3a plus b divided by uh, we get a minus b right which i could also write as negative of since i have b minus a here negative of 3a plus b over b minus a is that clear so, so what we have here is, we'll call this as our equation 1 and this as our equation 2. So we'll substitute these values here. This is 1 and this is 2. Do you get the idea? So now we can say that x plus 2a over x minus 2a plus x plus 2b over x minus 2b is equal to 
for the first x part I'm writing part a which is 3b plus a over b minus a and for the second this expression is negative of 3a plus b over b minus a now b minus a is a common denominator so we could do 3b minus b so we get 2b here and a minus 3a a minus 3a gives us minus 2a and in the denominator we get b minus a correct now from here i could take two common right so let me do it here we can take two common so we get b minus a divided by b minus a b minus a b minus a cancel giving us two as the result so option c is the right option does it make sense to you so you see how easily we could solve these complicated questions using component and dividend feel free to write your comments share your views post your questions and if you like and subscribe my videos that will be great thanks and all the best